flies into this spot. Just see Chobi lock in the victor. Um, this this can be a very volatile mid matchup, and that's where I think Talia wasn't able to close the gap again, and misses the stun to boot. That's the Talia. Right, that's a flash forward from Vista, but doesn't really do anything with it, and he's just gonna die. First blood going over to Samira, and it was delivered on the streak to Hanalite Beast Boards. They're gonna try to push this push into this. They start it, but Arzuma whoa, that's a flash forward. Oh. That's a solo kill. Well. Uh, been a while since I've seen Chobi get solo killed in mid. Just not a thing that happens all that often, but still, I think I'd say that. Cool. And also opens up the map for T1 yeah. so much. And they got the scuttle here. They get the crab yeah, and death flash. Oh dear, Ellen's going to come forward. Uh, sidestep is going to be there, but it's not quite enough. So, Ellen, life just don't get to trade anything back macro-wise here. Yep, and once again, I mean, Trophy's going to have to flash to get out of the way of this one, but Close is going to take another turret shot, and Chaos Storm's doing a lot of work. Death Ray comes in, and Arthur steals away the kill like a jerk. Oh, no. What? I mean, it's better to have assist gold on top of your kill, but still. Not exactly what you want to see. Death taking a lot of damage, and he's going to have to cleanse to get himself out of it. Vista decides he wants to go back in. His carrier gets exploded. Death grabs that kill. Vista's going to die, and the ulti will come through from Guma Yushi, but he's not able to get enough done. Steals away one kill, but now Arthur's looking to try and lock down Elam. And Elam's running, but he's not going to be able to get far enough. And the kill steal Gold attempt lead is what? 400? 300? Nine. Chovy, no flash, remember. This is uh, this is very unfortunate. He's going to get flicked back and destroyed. Elam grabs that kill. All right. He's going to land on the carrier, so he will fall. So it's a one for one. The coming up here from Morgan and Arthur. Morgan does have his Ornhorn, horn, but I mean, with this. Uh, that's a big uh, flash in. Oh my god, the flick onto both of them as the Graves is going to fall now. Kana is in trouble. Jovi teleporting in just to save the day, and he will be able to do so. They do lose the turret, but a two for one exchange when it comes to the kill. Damn right, and they're 2,000 gold in the lead after all that. And I feel like Harmel Life were trading up when it came to kills, as Ellen is going to be able to win. Like we were saying, some of the trades are a little bit better for Hanwha Life Esports, but objective-wise, they are getting so much done. Yeah, slice over the wall there from Kana. He's never going to die. As a Weaver's Wall comes through just to get Elam in position. Death just being hunted to the ends of the earth and will be taken down closer. Will tidy that one up. Carrier tanking the turret for a very long time and will die to the Rel as Gumiyushi takes a very empowered shot from the turret, but he'll be able to clean this one up in the end. And it'll be two turrets to zero, and this gold lead will keep extending. Uh, T1's playing ping pong, and playing League of Legends. Oh, you're coming to the top lane and trying to stop Kana because he's pushing down a turret? Oh, we're going to win a fight. Cannot be overstated right now for T1 as they have got both breaks and so much on the map. Kana's Absolutely. Helping. Collateral damage comes down. Arthur is able to grab that kill pretty comfortably. Gale Force is going to help him out there as Trophy flashes out of the way. Another Chaos Storm on top of Closer. But remember the further away. Some real team fight power. I mean, the Mortal Shield Bow means he's going to live through his ultimate more often than he was before, obviously, as we saw in the previous fight. By the searing charge. Elam still trying to throw some pebbles in there. Death Ray doing some work, but now the brambles come forward. Vanguard's edge into the back line. Oh my god! Closer just destroying the team fight. Death trying to run away, but he won't be able to. Arthur can't kite this one out either. As Morgan will get a knock up, but he's gonna go down and T1 destroy the team fight and closer. I'm sorry about what I said in game number two. You are an incredible player. God tier engage on this fight and Hanwha Life Esports almost feels like they forgot he was there. They forgot that he has this insane strong engage, which is extremely well uh, well paired with Gumayushi on this the old one. And uh, Languish is the, the new one. I'm not entirely sure. There's a fight though, and Carrie is dead. He does manage to get down his brambles, but that's all. It's not really safe to even move around the map near where Hanwha Life is. Speaking of which, T1, they, they, it seems like they don't care. They're way out of position. The wrong side yep, of the map. And the flash away from Elam as well. This is just forcing them back. I mean, Kana's in position and Carrier is going to make it to this Drake. So the 5v5 is there. Vanguard's Edge. Flash used for closer, but no follow-up. Finally, they get in there as Morgan going down so low, but he's so tanky. As in goes Gumiushi into the back line. He will fall down, but has he done enough? And I think the answer is yes, as it's only... Again, the snowball continues. It looked scary for just one second, for just a moment for T1. It looked like, okay, maybe Hanalife is starting to seal this back. They got that pick in the mid lane. And then they just had, again, another hard Vanguard's Edge engage. And T1 looked so well versed with this composition. 
Well, another ulti to fly forward here from Carrier as Indo's Vista just hard engaging. The Weavers wall not exactly doing too much as Kana's going to fall down. The Rel is going to be traded as Chovy is off to the side, but he gets a lot of work done. And T1 may have thrown over, thrown away part of their advantage as Chovy just walking on these saplings, man. They're doing so much damage. Carrier, he might be dead now, but he's done the most damage on his team thus far. I don't know whether that's something weird about Imperial Mandate because I feel yes. like that, uh, Maybe that counts towards his damage when it's not actually his damage or something like that, but still it's impressive because we've been seeing a lot of these uh, saplings. If they lose an inhibitor here, it's going to make it very, very tough to actually have that vision control of the Drake. They're pushing in. Yep, there's the crash down. Magnet Storm comes through. That's a great flick back and Deft is immediately removed from the fight. Chovy finds himself an angle though as LM does go golden and Carrier is taken out of the fight. Vista now looking Obi. for a little bit more as Chovy just gatekeeping. Kana is inside the enemy base going rogue. It's Owen Wilson style as he's behind enemy lines and Gumi just wasn't in the fight. He was just taking down the inner turret top lane and will be able to take an inhibitor turret as well. So it looks like Morgan oh, they want closer. trying to get rid of Closer. Um, we'll be able to CC him a little bit. Flash forward there as Arthur could be in trouble. Closer doesn't find the reset. Goes golden to Arthur, but stopwatch is in hand for Closer as well. Vista getting taken down low, and the Samira is online, ladies and gentlemen. That's the quadra kill for Guma Yushi. And Deft is like, well, uh, not sure what I can do this game as T1 look to close it out. Yeah, this time he's the only one left standing and T1 want to win this series 2-1. They're just going to walk forward down the red carpet and take it. Respawn's just very, very far away. 25 seconds or more on the side of Hanwha Life Esports. Defending this seems nigh impossible with everyone rejoining. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to flash under Nexus turrets and throw out an ultimate into nowhere. Uh, this, it doesn't really matter. They're going to dive under death. They're going to take him down. It's the ace. It's the unofficial pentakill for Gumiyushi's Samira here on day number one. And T1 start off with a bang. Hanwha made them work for it. But this will be the debut victory for T1 with a roster that a lot of us were not expecting. And this is...